Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week at WIMZ.com, you voted for me to go see Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, starring Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, uh, Numi Rapace, Rachel McAdams, and Jared Harris. It is the story of, uh, of course, Holmes and uh, Dr. Watson, played by Downey Jr. and Law, uh, taking on Holmes' arch nemesis, uh, the one Professor James Moriarty, played by Jared Harris. Um, Numi Rapace is a um, gypsy by the name of Simza, who um, her brother has been missing for some time and is somehow involved in a grand scheme to start war in Europe. Um, Professor Moriarty has all of his tentacles spread out uh, in various industries, which puts him in a position to uh, reap a fortune in the event of war in Europe, and he's going to make sure that happens. Um, the movie is, well, it's an action picture, first and foremost. And it's funny, and it moves at a really good pace, and the story's good. Uh, it has a great deal of misdirection, so even the most innocent thing means something. You may not know it till the end of the movie, but the, the simplest look, glance, um, interaction could lead to the uh, film's conclusion. Um, and all of that is very good. I really like the movie. Here's my problem with it, however. Uh, it's the same problem I had with the first Sherlock Holmes movie. Um, it is about as cerebral as Transformers. It's a lot of noise, a lot of special effects, um, and action. Uh, fist fights, gun fights. There's major pieces of artillery that get fired, uh, which one of those particular uh, scenes of artillery getting fired just struck me as particularly silly. Um, I'll go into that in more depth in my written review, which will be up on WIMZ.com. But, um, Holmes is a cerebral character, and Robert Downey Jr.'s portrayal, uh, thanks to director Guy Ritchie, is um, a generic action character. Now, that's my own personal bias coming in, uh, so I admit that right up front. Uh, well, actually, I didn't. I did that at the end. But anyway, uh, I am admitting I have a bias when it comes to Sherlock Holmes. Um, and even though the cerebral part of Holmes's character is on display, it is always the last thing uh, that, that gets any sort of screen time. The rest of the time, it is all action, 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 special effects, action. So, you know, I... I enjoyed the movie. Go see it. It'll make a blue billion dollars. Uh, there will probably be a third one. Pretty much bet there will be as long as it makes enough money. Uh, but for me personally, I find this film and the previous Sherlock Holmes movie disappointing uh, because it sacrifices Holmes' intellect for action. That's just me. I'm still giving the movie five guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie I see next time. Your questions or comments are welcome. Send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter. That's at MovieManStan. Till next time. Later, Tater.